Joining me in the studio today is a member of the Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee, Knesset member Dr. Anat Belgo. She's here to discuss the ongoing humanitarian crisis in Syria and how best Israel can respond. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Natasha, for having me. All right, so let's begin. You know, in the past two days, we've seen the horrific, horrific results of Bashar Assad's supposed chemical attacks against his own people. Now, how should Israel be responding to this, in your opinion? You know, Natasha, it's not the first time that he used chemical weapon and throw it on the heads of his own people, his compatriot. And actually, this weapon he earned to, to throw on the Israelis' children. We need to understand all the weapons that we see right now in Israel, he stored against Israel. And uh, when in 2013, the world was silence, and uh, they faked the destruction of the chemical weapon. Perhaps the there was the destruction of chemical weapon, according to uh, former President Obama. But we know that they still have one, and we saw all those burls with chlor that they were throwing from aircraft on the heads of their own people. And now we see those horrible atrocities, those now, horrible seeing, pictures. Right, and we're seeing, you know, a major issue here with Syrian refugees. Now, do you believe that Israel should be taking in more refugees? I think that uh, we need to be very careful. We need to ask to the international community a community to come and to do something. The UN that was sleeping on wheel when we are speaking about all is going on in Syria and they just promote declaration against Israel should act right now. This is the challenge for the UN to do something because they don't do anything. But to what about stop Israel? Israel? You know, I Israel mean took the wounded people and you visited, you had visited the the the, uh, the hospital, Ziv hospital in the north. We are the only country who take on our account to give the wounded people medical aid, humanitarian aid. We help people. We took them. We did surgeries and brought them back. They come to to check uh, uh, after a month, and we did that. But this is not about. How, what Israel can do, because we will give the humanitarian aid as we can. But the international uh, uh, countries, the superpowers, we have Russia, we have America, and we have the Sunni Daesh, and we have Iran and Hezbollah, Shia version of Daesh. I mean, that do, do you think it's like they, they need to stop this war. You have 12 million refugees. You have seven. 50,000 uh, people who were casualties. So it's about time the, in, the international arena will start to work. This now, is the I change. mean, but when we talk about Israel specifically, you know, some believe that, and many Israelis themselves believe that we have a moral obligation as the Jewish people that have gone through a Holocaust to be helping these people on a more profound level. We are helping with, obviously, uh, aid to wounded Syrian refugees on the border. But, you know, there was a plan to take in close to 100 Syrian orphans, and we haven't heard anything about that happening. Is, is that plan still in the works? I don't know. I didn't go uh, to these details, but uh, it wouldn't solve any problem. It wouldn't solve any problem. The problem are millions of people that somebody need to stop this war, to have like uh, security zones, no-fly zones for the, the, the civilian there. Could we build a safe zone on the we, border of, of Israel and Syria? Uh, I think that the superpowers, Russia and America and the UN, it's about time that the UN do his job. We're speaking the humanitarian, uh, the human rights uh, committee, speaking about Israel on a daily basis, but silence about Syria. We need to have the secure zones for the, for the civilians, free for flying there, and I think this will be the best solution for the Syrian people, and I think that we'll do whatever we can to help them. Dr. As the Prime Nessa Minister and said. Dr. Anat Bilko, thank you so much for coming in. Chag Sameach. Chag Sameach. Thank you, Natasha, for having me. Great. Thank you.